Now to close, I, I think when I looked at your CV, you were already working on two or three more projects. So where are you, what are your future plans? <laughs> My future plans. Then, indeed, I, I have a, a very short book, Rootledge. They have a, a collection that is for short books uh, related to museums. Then I just finished uh, that. Mm. Uh, that is a, a tiny book like this that is on museums and uh, Atlantic slavery. Then this, mm. I hope, is going to, to, to be published uh, then probably next year. Then this is done. Um, then it's a sort of uh, offspring of this book because the book doesn't deal with museums all over and in this book, uh, the tiny book, it's, it includes a lot of, then uh, Brazil as well that is not uh, in the, the book um, Slavery in the Age of Memory. Now the other two projects, I have a, a, a book that is under contract with um, University of Chicago Press, there is a book about, uh, and this is a history of slavery in the Americas, then the history mm -hmm. of the, the Atlantic, slave, uh, Atlantic slavery in the Americas, that um, then it's a sort of survey uh, that is intended then for uh, lar larger audiences, but uh, the, the three features of the book uh, on the one hand is to include Africa in this uh, in this history because it's, it's usually um, then um, is studied and not included in any of these books that focus on uh, slavery in the Americas. Second, uh, to include Brazil as a, a, a major player because usually then it's always the British Atlantic and the North Atlantic and the United States. Yeah. And third, also then uh, women, enslaved women, then this is a book that uh, is a book for larger audiences. It's, it draws already from much of the work that I already did, but I hope to make this a uh, a book that is accessible. And the other one is a more an academic monograph that uh, deals, uh, that I hope also to make this um, more accessible, uh, that is uh, under contract with uh, Cambridge with, um, in this um, series with, um, that Michael Gomez has uh, on the, the history of uh, African diaspora. And this is about uh, the Atlantic slave trade in, on the Loango coast in West Central Africa, a place where the French, the Portuguese, uh, the British, the Dutch were there. And I follow one particular object that was fabricated in France, given to a local ruler there, and then brought to, uh, to Dahomey. Um, at yeah. some point uh, in the 19th century, we assume then uh, it's a book that connects the history of slavery uh, to the history of uh, colonialism mm -hmm. and the focus is uh, material uh, culture. Wow. <laughs> then wow. these are the two books that I am doing, uh, which is, uh, of course, um, is a challenge, but uh, we are here for that. Yeah, oh, those two sound really fascinating, especially the uh, the one on the object. So that I'm going to look forward to see that in a few years. <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you. Nina. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk about your new book. It was again, thank it was you for fascinating. Having me. Thank you for having me. It's a, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure also to have the, the book being discussed in uh, networks that uh, are different from the, the ones that I am doing uh, usually. Then, um, then I am engaging more and more with the, the history of the United States. And it's nice to see that my contribution uh, in this specific field that is memory is, uh, is welcome. And I hope you enjoy the book, those of you who have the opportunity of uh, reading it. I hope that a number of our subscribers will, because again, I think there's a lot of very good material and um, good material to think about um, the lost cause and how we perceive of memory in the civil war era in there. So, well again, thank you.